Welcome to the good news from the Lord. Today, we're going to continue our topic, the hidden disease. As we have seen in the past, there is something wrong in the spirit and soul of every person who is born in this earth. Let's pray. Father God, we know that only you know the secrets of our life because you are the creator at this moment. We ask your blessings upon every person who is watching and listening, wherever he are or she may be. And Father God, we pray that you anoint them and, O oh, Master God, open our understanding to learn and to teach. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Mark's Gospel, chapter 2, verse number 7, we ended our last episode there where Jesus Christ is seeing a person who is paralyzed, people, there are four people who brought them to Jesus Christ, and then he said, Son, your sins have been forgiven. And there are some people who were sitting there because there are a lot of crowd was there. So they said, Oh, he's just talking nonsense. How can a person forgive sins? Only God can do that. So another way they are saying, are you claiming yourself to be God or the Son of God? Why are you saying this? What authority do you have upon this earth to say to someone, your sins have been forgiven? Man who is born out of a woman, after Adam and Eve committed sin in the Garden of Eden, now every person born upon this earth is born a sinner. Even a small child, an infant, in the womb of his mother, when he is created, is a sinner. Why? Because the genes, the DNA, was corrupted in the Garden of Eden. Now we don't know up to now, and we will never know, if you are asked, or maybe you are a highly qualified medical doctor or scientist or whoever you are, if I ask you, do you know at what time when a baby is conceived in the womb of a mother, at what time life comes into him, spirit comes into him? Fourth month, second month, third month, and up to now there is no doctor in the whole world who has answered these questions. You can ask anyone. Or if you have an answer, you can just call us, email us. So I'm not saying this to underestimate the science because the science confirms the Bible. And if there's some thing which the science is saying it's the Bible is not true, that is because the science has not reached to that level still. Because 50 years ago, the science was saying, the Bible says the mind and the heart is one, but that's wrong. But now science says, yes, the mind and the heart is one because the, the cells of the mind are the same cells of the heart. So see, 50 years ago, the science was not there where, because God's wisdom is not the wisdom of man. So now let's come back to our topic. Jesus is saying to this man, your sins have been forgiven. And there are people sitting there saying, who are you? Are you God? Why do you say this? Then Jesus knew what they are thinking. At this time, whatever is your problem, you're watching this program. You might be sick. You have a broken marriage. Or your business is going down. Or there are other problems in your life. I don't know them. But God knows them all. Even you don't have to tell him. You just cry out, God, help me. He will help you. When this person was brought to Jesus, he didn't speak. He was paralyzed. He didn't raise up his hands or feet. But Jesus has compassion on him. 
but rather to heal him physically, Jesus saw there's something, first things first. There's something which has to be healed first. That was the disease, the hidden disease in this person's life that is a sin. And not only in this person's life, in every person who is born in this earth. Whether he's a Christian, he's a Jew, he's a Hindu, he's a Muslim, or he don't even believe in God. Every person born upon this earth is a sinner. And he needs healing from that hidden disease. So when Jesus is saying here to these people who said, why are you saying this? Who are you? He says to them, is it easy to say to the paralyzed, your sin have been forgiven? Or is it easy to say to him, rise up, lift up your bed and walk? But for you to know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins upon this earth, I have told to this man, rise up, walk. So there's two things here. Two kinds of healing occurred. First thing, Jesus is saying to this man, son, your sins have been forgiven. Son, why he was saying to him, son, Jesus was not old. He was only between 30 to 32 years old at this moment. And he's young. Why he says to this man, son? Then we see in the Bible, he met a lady. She was older to Jesus. She was in her 40s and Jesus was still in her. And he says to her daughter, because Jesus has no beginning and no end. People think that Jesus Christ was born only 2,000 years ago. But that's not true. The Bible says before the beginning, before the time begins, Jesus is there with God because he's the word of God. And God speaks that word is Jesus. But if God is dumb, then I don't worship that God who cannot move, who is dumb, who cannot speak. We worship a living God who speaks and his words stayed in him since the beginning when the time was not there. So that's why Jesus told to this man's son. Physically, Jesus is younger than him, but spiritually, Jesus is older than him. That's why Jesus says to this woman who was 40 years old, he says to her, daughter, because physically Jesus is younger, but spiritually Jesus is older, is like father to this lady. So now son, your sins have been forgiven. That's not easy. How can sins be forgiven? In the next episode, we will learn how can sins will be forgiven the hidden disease. But see the authority which Jesus has. Can you go to any person in this world and say to him, I'll give you one million dollar or one billion dollar. Can you forgive my sins? And what he will say to you, I'm a sinner like you. I cannot forgive sins. And what is the surety? Will he give you a certificate? Okay, your sins have been forgiven, and the time we will die, we'll end up in the burning fire. But here is a person who's authentic. We can depend on him. We can believe in him, that whatever he says, why, why we should believe in these words? Why we should believe that Jesus said, okay, your sins have been forgiven, and then it's forgiven. Because he himself declared that I have the authority from God to forgive sin upon 
this earth. There is no one in the history who came and claimed this. We respect every great leader of every religion. We respect all the Babas and Gurus. We respect all the saints. They did very nice jobs. They preached against sin, but no one of them said that I have the authority to forgive sins. No one. So when someone is saying this, it means he knows what he's doing. So in the next episode, episode we'll see how sins can be forgiven and how this hidden disease can leave our spirit and soul. Then comes the physical healing, which was very easy. Jesus says, that's very easy to say to this paralyzed man, just rise up and walk. For Jesus, it's just nothing. He says, the difficult thing is to say to a person, your sins have been forgiven. So at this moment, as you're watching this program, I ask you to think about the real problem, the hidden disease in your life. And come to Jesus. You don't have to change your religion. It's not about religion. It's about the secret hidden disease in our life. And that only God can forgive. The sin of the whole world. Because that was the purpose of him coming to this earth. When he was born, the angel told to his mother, you will name his name Jesus, which means a person who will forgive sins of his people. So as I conclude, let's pray. Father God, I ask you to bless the people who are watching and listening, that their sins will be forgiven. They will come to know you as the real God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in next episode. God bless you.